Hey folks, this is Decoherent, and welcome back to XCOM 2, Leftovers in the Mist. So today we have Operation First Stroke. So here were my options here, if we remember. We have Intel versus Alien Cipher, we have a Scientist versus Rapid Response, and we have Supplies versus Viper Rounds. I don't like Viper Rounds. I do not care... Well, I do care about the Scientist. Rapid Response is not that big of a deal. However... Alien Cipher is a huge problem, especially at this state in the game, so that's what we're going to do. Oh, shut up, Redford. Okay, so how we're doing this, and I forgot to equip these extra weapons, so don't mind me as I talk while I do this. So we're bringing Holly, for obvious things. We are going to bring Ramon. I upgraded his weapon. He now has a scope in addition to... What else did he have on it? Um... One moment. Oh, that's right, the autoloader. Okay, and that's going to be really appropriate for him. Oh, and I uh, upgraded to mag pistols. We're bringing our new guy, Rogue, who we've not taken out, except for, actually, not at all, I think. Gabrielle, what else should you take? How about you take a battle scanner? Because those are really nice. And I guess we can go ahead and take the Skulljack out. Does this affect her hacking at this point? No, it doesn't, so I don't actually care about it. So why don't you just take a grenade instead? I'm not going to pop out um, uh, codexes at this point, so... Okay, do I want to take anything more clever? Yep, Shauna, and then Paula, because I need to get her to combat protocol. And then Mickey, which is our new assault that we picked up in the mission that is lost. Let's see here. I guess this looks okay. Do I need an acid grenade? That's a good question. And you know what? I'd rather have a flashbang over here. Yeah. Just in case. Because Ramon should be up near us, so... Um, okay, let's just go ahead and do this. This should be fine. What's the worst that could happen, right? Right. All right, Bradford will give us our briefing. One of our contacts sent word that Advent forces have been conducting local area sweeps from trains in this region, and the remote terminal they're using is currently exposed on their network. We're after data critical to the aliens' latest project, so we're heading in to seize control of the access point. Clear out any hostile resistance in this area and secure the train. This is our chance to stop their progress. I don't like trains. These are a problem to hack. The line of sight sucks. But. Obviously we'll just deal with it. Quit our whining. Kill the bad guys. Take the data. Go home. Count our loot. Because we'd better get loot. Oh, and I added a scope to Ramon's rifle. Especially for a snapshot sniper. Like, scopes are just super important. This is Avenger. The access point and our rogue still doesn't have the ghost pack. Move to secure the area. So he does not have the re uh, reduced reveal radius. He has the shadow keeper. But that's his only way of reconcealing. So, Oh, and the bolt caster. This came with us because we finally got an advanced extended mag. So, wow, I'm just like all over not telling you guys what's going on. Okay, let's advance a little carefully here. Gabriel, that's obviously going to be your job. Even if you're not currently spec'd out for it. Because you're the new guy. And that's just how that works. Okay, so... Let's not go crazy here yet. We do have plenty of time. Let's do... Let's just be cautious. Cautious-ish. Cautious for me. And... Oh, it's fun having an assault back. Uh-oh. And we've got contact. What do we got? Oh, just a turret. Ugh. I am almost done with blue screen rounds. Or the blue screen protocol, rather. It's so close, and I just can't wait for it. These mechanical enemies are starting to get really obnoxious. Shield bear and a mech. Alright. Not a problem, we can handle that. I think let's go up and over then. Can I do that without getting revealed? Y yes he said confidently. Not easily. Not in a blue move. Let's 
just come over here and make sure this isn't going to reveal. Because if it will, then we still have the ability to do something about it. Oh, Archons! <laughs> no, I hate Archons. Okay. Fine. Well, let's get on up here as best we can. Looks like we can only really fit three people on top. I don't like that, but we'll make it work. Uh-oh! I can't tab out. That means something bad just happened. Oh, no, it didn't. It's just another turret. Oh, my God. How many turrets are on this thing, anyway? So we already have line of sight on six enemies and two turrets. Ouch. Okay, who else really needs to be up on top? Paula. No need to ask twice. It is really nice being able to use the um, bolt caster because it does have some bonus to aim. I just don't like using it until you can upgrade it because it's just hard to make it do something useful. Okay, I guess we'll put Holly up on top here. Got it and okay. Mickey and Gabriel can stay down yeah. here. Because he does have blindside, so I'm going to need to get him maneuvered in order to get optimum utility out of him. Well, let's see here. How are we going to be able to play this? Well, now we're in a bit of trouble. Not like Trouble Trouble, but like... Something I'm not happy with. Oh, Gabriel can still move a little bit. Um, since you can move over here without revealing, let's see if we can run inside quick and use some of that as cover. Perhaps? Y not really. There's a door over here. That's kind of nice. Let's come over here. Moving on target. And let's get Mickey in here, too. Don't do that. Oh, you can't. That's right, because you can't move. Oh, he, we're going to get revealed next turn. Uh, there's not really any way around it, actually. So, oops. Okay, well, we can take out the one turret, at least, once everything jumps on us here. Who can see that? Oh, my God. Holly can see both pods, and I can't get her away. All right. Well, this is going to be exciting. Let's shift Paula around the corner. Yeah, boy, it's tempting to open on these guys, but we're not going to. We're just going to play it cool. Set up as many overwatches as we can. Get dealt with the reveal in just a moment here. Maybe they won't move enough to the side, actually. Let's find out. I'd love to have another turn to set up. Oh, we got away with it. Awesome. Okay, so who do I want to open on? I could come way over here. It's just going to be really hard to move far enough to only activate one of the two pods. And I suppose I have the nastiness necessary to deal with both. Um... I should not have put the exosuit on Shauna. That was a mistake. But it's a mistake I have to deal with. Let's put her up here. Can we get in here? Yes, but not on one turn. That's okay, because I'm planning on working for one more turn here. Just want to try to get things nailed down just a little further. Okay. And I think that's basically the best we can do. So, all right. Boy, I wonder if those guys would wander away. It'd be nice to only have to deal with the ones. Holly might be the only one who can see them, but that doesn't particularly help us because I can't move Holly. Oh, yes, I can. Are you the only one who can see them? How about if we open up this door? Nope. So what would I have to do in order to get out of line of sight of these guys? If I moved over to this window, is that good enough? I can't tell. I think so, actually. Well, you guys won't be able to move, which definitely is a non-optimal use of your abilities, but there's a good chance that we could take out this pod on our first move. Okay, so if we do that, then I could put... 
Holly over... Or Shauna, I mean, over here? Or do I want Holly over there? Oh, jeez, you guys can all see over there. Boy, I'm not liking this. I am just not liking this. Like, yeah, we can't use this area at all up here. Alright, well, let's just deal with it. Let's get over here. Let's do what we can. Moving to designated position. I don't feel like I can handle both of these pods at once. So, I'm just not going to try. Move, move, move. So let's move way down. Which I don't care for, but here we are. Copy get Ramon over here. We'll get Paula way back here. I'd love to get my guys inside to outside, but they can't do it without breaking their cover this turn. So... Okay. Overwatch. Moving to Overwatch. Eyes on the prize. Nope. Alright, well, at least not having anyone upstairs means that, um... We can... Not get grenaded. Okay, so let's think about this. So I'm gonna freeze one of them. That's kind of obvious here. Which pod should I freeze? Which one's more dangerous? The shield bearer is not particularly dangerous. The mech is very dangerous. The officer is kind of dangerous. On the other hand, this pod is just a whole pile of unpleasantness. So let's frost bomb them. Do I want to have anybody on Overwatch? No, everybody is valuable at this point. I really don't like that I'm going to be in a half cover against that turret. Who all can see that turret? Is it just you two? No, Shauna can also be seen by it. Well, we may just have to eat some damage. Okay. Well, let's open up with the frost bombs so they don't scatter. Here we go. Ready for a surprise. I don't like this opening at all. Not in the least. Okay, so let's see what I need to do. So Shauna can take a shot. Oh, that's cool. Shauna can take a shot and then also um, use her rocket. So that could be useful depending on where things go. Yeah, high turrets. I think I can take one of them out with Ramon. So that's better than nothing. 41%? Really? Oh, squad sight. Okay, um, 87. Actually, can you shoot at it? No, but you can shoot at this guy. You know what, why don't you just go ahead and take a shot at him? Just to possibly get some damage in. Nope, you missed. That's fine. You tried. Okay, well, let's take a shot at this turret. It would be really keen if you could just blow that turret up. Because this is the only shot I can waste on it. And you took care of it. Good guy, Ramon. Awesome. So, next up... 80% on that mech. Let's take the shot on the mech. We're gonna have to kill the mech, so... 6 damage, very good. I could bring... Well, Gabriel is just gonna get uncovered. That's just what's gonna happen, because... I need him to do things. So, if he comes over here, he'll have a nice full cover. And he should be able to take out the mech. On the move. Oh, that's nice. The mech didn't see him. 91, please go ahead and put this mech down. I would greatly appreciate it. Very good. It's good to get a kill on you anyway. Why is Paula still invisible? I mean, it doesn't matter. And she can't see anyone from this current pod. But if I come around the corner here, then she can. Let's do that. Okay. Crappy shots. Alright, so. Let's go ahead and let's use this rocket. Which again is not my preference. Oh, who else do I have left? And Mickey. Okay. Okay, let's use this rocket. Can I get all of them? Yes. Yes, that's fine. Actually, I hope we don't blow up the officer's cover. Okay, this is looking good. So now... If you could kindly kill this shield bearer, please don't miss. 76. Very good. Yep. It's all good, though. And then we're going to use flesh to come over here into full cover. Oh, this might not kill him. 5 to 7 versus... Oh, 6 to 8. Okay, well, let's get right up to him then and just shoot him in the face. He does have a laser sight. 
So this should be plenty. 80% crit. No problem. That's how it's done. Okay, and the only one who can be seen by that second turret is Shauna, hopefully. Oh look, it's a faceless. Let's see if he's close enough to punch our new rogue in the face. I think he might be. Okay, good. Very good. Yeah, he's way too close. Unless CCS puts him down. Oh, so close. So close. Well, one hit shouldn't be able to kill him. He's got 13 health plus one armor. Maybe it'll miss. I mean, it won't, but... Ah! Two damage. Not a problem. Okay, so now... We know what we're doing here. We are gonna blow this up with Holly. Unless I have a different explosive I want to use. No, I want the bolt caster to be available to me. Okay. Let's, uh... Take care of these guys a little. Alright, very good. Nice damage. And then... Let's see here. I think we're going to have to ignore the turret for a round. I think we're going to need all the damage that we have to kill these guys. Maybe not. Again, if I feel like living a little dangerously... Can I get out of sight? Yeah, if I use run and gun, I can get out of sight of the turret. Just come over here or something, or actually right here. There may yet be another pod, is the scary part. And if they are, they're probably back here. Let's do it. Let's hope I don't regret this. Very good. Alright, so, what do we have for damage? 6 to 8? Or... 6 to 8? Or... 89% for 6 to 8. That won't kill it. Is the problem. Okay, so let's see what else we have available to us. So Gabriel can... stay where he is, actually. How good of a shot do you have? Not a great shot, actually. Why don't you go ahead and try to put down the faces for me? Because you've got the stutter mags, so you have lower damage. Okay, good. That problem solved. So now I've got two shots from Shauna. I've got one shot from Paula. Boy, that Archon is hard to hit. You know what? Let's take the higher percentage shot here. Let's work our way down, aim-wise. Right? Okay, and we'll hold on to Ramon for the very end. So now... Why don't you take out the Muton? Right. Good riddance. And shoot at the Archon, although I don't know if you'll be able to hit him. That's a pretty low shot. Oh, never mind. Why am I doubting? Okay, an 89% should be plenty, but you know what? I really don't want to screw this up. Okay, good. I've got something here. Very good. So now, 41% because poor Ramon is using squad sight. Can I get you over to where you can see it in person? And still be in cover? No. At least, I don't think so. No, I can't. If you say so. Oh, yeah, I can. 91. Never mind. Why am I doubting? And problem solved. I definitely got that one. Well, that went clean. Come get some. Very nice. Hey, and look. More faceless. And it's close enough to hit Holly or Shauna. Great. And too far away for CCS. Oh, I hate these things so much. Six damage, that's not too shabby. Well, at least you're going after the people in the exosuits. Yep, no problem. We're good here. 
Okay, Mickey, why don't you come get our stuff? Thank you very much. Let's see what we got. Another strong box autoloader tactical sensor. I don't know what that is. Okay. Who needs kills? Like, desperately. Actually, Mickey needs kills desperately. No, no, he doesn't. He's fine. Our rogue needs kills desperately. So why don't you come all the way over here and try to shoot this guy in the back of the head or whatever type of head analog it has. 93, that should be plenty. Good job. Alright, and let's go ahead and get Paula up as close as we can. Where do I have to get her to point where she can see this? Um, she can see it actually from way back here. Good. I would prefer not to move anybody significantly. I just don't want to pay for my hubris Absolutely. and accidentally step on a pod. Why does Holly have a shard gun? I'll tell you why, because I wasn't paying enough attention. Oh, this is actually not good for a snapshot sniper, but that's okay. Okay, and you cannot see the device from back here. Okay, how about up here? And... Okay, I was going to say, if this is a lie, I'm going to be mad. Targeting, squad targeting, nope, that's okay. Alright, just go ahead and get the workstation. This is fine. Alright, supplies or supplies. And <laughs> you got neither. That's okay. You're fine. I'm so proud of you. Oh, that's not it. Okay. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Okay, I didn't think so, but I was hoping. Okay, well in that case, let us. Mickey's gonna need to reload. Let's bring Ramon down where he can like actually be useful, because he's too far away to be useful, be okay. even with the height bonus. I don't think. Okay, Gabriel needs to reload. We're green to go. I wish he could turn invisible Anything again, but he now. can't. So. We'll just move on with our lives. Why does Holly have a shard gun? Who does that? Okay, so they've decided not to patrol towards us. That's thoughtful of them. Well, let's take one more turn here now that we've got everyone reloaded. And then we'll start looking for him. You know, I should have used the Shadow Keeper on that faceless. But I didn't, so... And here we are. Two, three, three mutons. Yacht. Okay. Not exactly uh, setting yourselves up for something, something, something good shot, something. All right. Good shot. Very good shot. It doesn't look like that went the right direction. Oh, there's one up on the roof. Oh, we can make him pay for that. Come on, Shauna. Alright, very good. Getting some good damage done. Okay, so there's one way back there and one up here. Okay, this is no problem. No problem at all. Holly. Ah, not quite. Okay, that's okay. I've got options for dealing with this guy up here. So, why don't you go ahead... Let's take care of the guy in the back. Why don't you move up just a little bit here, please? No problem, boss. And ta-da! I need to get skull mining up so that the skull jack gives us additional hacking, but... I have lots of other problems going on at the moment. Okay, um, well, go ahead and get this one down. You need kills, too. It's not like it's ever really a problem leveling up sharpshooters, but even so. Okay, and... Gabrielle, can we get you another kill? Yes, we can. Let's get way up here to make sure that's a real flank and not a fake one. 75%. Yep, well done. Got him. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Fantastic. That went well. Mission accomplished. Yes, it's frustrating that we took a little bit of damage. But it's not bad. And I don't usually feel bad for taking damage from Faceless because they're obnoxious. So, 
Oh well. And it was only two damage each, I believe, so... Yeah, that's fine. No worries, they'll be out in a couple days. Alright, let's see what the story is. Excellent, three promotions. And yeah, three and five days out. No big deal. Not worried about it. Okay. Will this survive Centro Master Flashbanger? Interesting. Hmm. I don't think I'm worried about will to survive. Centro Mass is always attractive. Or a free flashbang. Flashbangs can be really, really nice. And this is one I'd get anyway. So she'd have a total of four grenades plus a rocket every mission. I will trade that for center mass. I think that's okay. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. New guy. Ghost pack. Excellent. And Anderson. Excellent. Oh, you do have combat protocol. Sorry. And just like I keep saying, free flashbangs, man. They're not as great for dealing with um, enemies late game, but you can do things like break overwatch, you can do things like break mind control. Advanced tacticals. Oh! Oh! -ho -ho -ho. Hello, Assault and Shinobi. That is hot. Alright. Yeah, Archon Autopsy, I don't like them. Turret breakdown. Hello, Commander. Very well done. Okay, am I going to bother putting an engineer into heal? You know, I might as well, because I don't actually need this cleared anytime soon. So, why don't you just stay up here? Okay, very good. Alright, alloys and... Ooh, alloys and Illyrium. Oh, man. You can always use Illyrium. But we're only 25 hours from finishing up the relay, so let's get that finished first. And we still have one black site for when the counter ticks up in the near future here. And blue screen protocol. Hooray! EMP grenade. And blue screen rounds. Very good. Okay, so I have A core. Um. You know, I'm going to hold on to that for when I've got some money. And speaking of money. Reading you loud and clear. All right. All right. Um, let's... I don't remember if we checked... Or wait, that's not where I want to go. I want to go to the black market. Get a few credits. Supplies. Space bucks. For some of those other upgrades. So, not here. Black market. Oh, okay, good. And everyone's up and healed. So, I'll move them back as soon as we're done talking here. Okay, so what can we sell? We still need viper corpses. Like I said, it keeps saying that we don't need officer corpses, so I'm just going to go ahead and get rid of some of them. Stone lancer corpses. Just for the spider suit, huh? Well, let's get rid of a few. Mutant corpses. I don't think we need those for quite a while. Shield bearer we don't need, like, ever. Berserkers we do need, although not for a while. And then obviously we need all our other bits and bobs. Um... Okay, that's not enough to do anything useful with, I don't think. Right? Oh yeah, it is. Okay. In that case, let's get skull mining going. Yeah, let's get that going, because the hacking benefits are really, really nice. Okay. And why don't you just go ahead and keep clearing alien machinery for no particular reason? And eight days to psionics. Okay. All right. So since alien cipher is not going to come up, I don't think I'm going to start here quite yet. Let's see if I can get this Illyrium. I think we'll get a mission before the Illyrium. But that stuff can be hard to come by. I think it may just be only supply raids. All right. So I think that's good enough for rookies. I think that we're going to keep buying new people I've from this point on. Of interesting All right. Commander. So we do need the Shadow Chamber. Oh, what does Illyrium lead to? Let's see. Illyrium 
equipped plasma rifle and powered armor. Ooh. That'll take forever, though. What else do you have available to us? Turret breakdown. I don't feel like that was anything in particular. Oh, the defense matrix. Um... We may want that, actually. I think we might. But let's get a strong box. A of I'd rather not have, have the defense mission come up. Oh, great. Okay. Extract VIP from Advent City for a scientist. Okay, scientist and intel. Okay, that's pretty great. Alright, so when we come back, we'll get geared up for this and we'll go pick up this guy for the council. So, as always, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.